Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. In today's video we are going to be continuing on with flow control inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now in the last video we showed you how to use switch on integer and in this video we are going to be using the switch on string node which is very similar. And the main purpose of this switch on string node is to essentially just do a different action depending depending on the value of a string, which is another type of variable. And as you guys know, a string is essentially a text value. And with this node, if we hook up a text value into this, we can add a couple of pins, and then depending on the value of that string, we can tell it to do different things. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now to show you this the best way I can is I'm just going to show you how you can set this up. So right click and just simply type in switch on string to get one of these nodes and then notice on the right hand side you've got a couple of details about this. Now at the moment you've got no pins in there and no scenarios with those um, strings. So what we need to do is actually create some of these. And the way you do this is by simply adding a pin. So I'm actually going to add three pins. And now you'll notice we got case 0, case 1, and case 2. And in the details panel on the right hand side, if we've got this little arrow here expanded, we can see we've got case 0, 1, and 2. And whatever you put into here, if the string that you're going to put into here is equal to those variables, it's going to run whichever code is hooked up to that execution pin. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to set the first one to cake, the second one to peanuts, and the third one to jelly. And then with this, I'm simply just going to add a bunch of print strings, one, two, and three, and I'm just selecting the first one to copy and paste that, just press Control c and Control v and then I'm just going to hook this up to each of these. Now it's asking for a variable to work with so it knows which, where it's trying to get that data from so it knows where and how to make that decision. Now for that we're going to need a variable, so on the bottom left just going to add a variable and we are simply going to give this the name string switch test just like that and then in the variable type make sure you have set this to a string so that we can actually work with it if you hit compile what you can do now is drag this in get a reference and hook it up to your selection now at the moment the string has got no value to it so it's just going to go to the default value. Um, so what we need to do is to test this and way, the way we can test this is by simply setting our string, our variable, if you select in the bottom left here, equal to either cake, peanuts or jelly. And then what we should get is a different print string. Now I'm just going to make cake say cake, peanuts will say peanuts and jelly will say jelly, just like that. And now with this, what I'm going to do is hook up the key binding that I made in the last video, which was the B key. If you haven't got that anymore, just right click and then just go to inputs and then sort of B. So right click, scroll down, find your input and then just go to keyboard and grab B or whatever letter you want to set it to. So I'm going to delete the old one and just hook it into here. Now because our string is going to be set to cake, if I go ahead and type that in, it should print the string cake whenever I press B. So if I compile this, press play, give it a couple of seconds to compile and press B, it should keep saying cake. Now if I set this to anything other than one of these three options, such as let's just say sandwich, hit compile, oops don't want to move the whole thing, hit compile and press play, what it's going to do now is absolutely nothing and that is on the default pin it's not telling it to do anything. So hopefully you guys are starting to see exactly how the switch on the string node is going to be used. So if a string 
is equal to a certain case, then what you can do is tell it to run a specific piece of code. And there is plenty of uses that you're going to be able to use this node for inside of Unreal Engine 4. And probably the main place that you're going to use this is something like the UI. So for example, if you've got a drop down box and they choose one of the options and it's equal to a certain string, then you can tell it to do a different action. But it's something that you guys will start to use as you get deeper and deeper into your blueprint code. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to show you in today's video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.